Alright guys, welcome to your 13th tutorial, lucky number 13. And in this tutorial, we're going to be finishing up our coding for this sweet program we got going on here. So, uh, you know, enough with the intro. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, we're going to be building the switch change method right now. And this is the method to get called whenever you click one of them switches. Pretty cool, huh? So, let's go ahead and build this right now. Alright, so let me give myself some space in the body right there. And... The first thing we need to do is, well, let's go ahead and rename that sender. Go UI switch and just name it uh, my switch. Again, guys, don't name it a uh, switch because look at that. Whenever you click it, it turns pink. That means built in because that's, I think it's trying to use a switch statement. So, yeah, definitely don't want to do that. And now I just ruined my code. All right, so go ahead and name it my switch or anything but switch. And what you want to do now is set this equal to UI switch pointer to sender. All right, now I have to tell you guys something. Well, I guess I can tell you in the next line of code. All right, the next thing we need to do is make a boolean and just name it like YN for yes, no, or something. And now go ahead, my switch, and go ahead and put is on. Now let me tell you guys about this neat little tip. Whenever you hold down option and double click any method, it gives you this nice little pop up and you can do this for any method. And what this is on method is a built in method that returns a boolean either yes or no. This yn variable is going to return yes if the switch is on and it's going to return no if the switch is off. So this is a built in method uh, attribute to any switch you have on your program. So now why is that informative Bucky why did you just tell me that well remember whenever well let's go ahead and finish this coding then I'll tell you left switch set on YN so again let me go ahead and finish I'm getting way too excited here so animated and yes so now let's go ahead and copy this for right switch right there we go set on yes or no animated yes all right a couple things I need to talk to you guys about so here's what's happened in here all we did is we renamed this center to my switch so we don't have to use this every time it's a lot easier to see right here we're seeing all right is your switch on or off if it's on I'm gonna store this boolean to yes if it's off I'm gonna set this equal to no so then it takes that boolean takes those settings and either changes both the switches to yes or no and pretty much turns them on or off so uh yeah I mean that way we can use this one method to handle both of the switches no matter what the sender is the other switch gets changed along with it so again if you think you're done coding not yet go ahead and you need to release all your objects left switch release right switch release and of course that button we retained not button pressed don't want to release that that's a method button release and guys if you're wondering about this method I didn't forget about a button pressed we're gonna be uh, handling that in the next couple tutorials but anyways we got stuff to do in this tutorial so you know uh, and I don't know how much time I have so you know I might be running out of time here so go ahead and quit this iPhone simulator and go ahead and build and build this and see if we got any errors fail too so let's go ahead and debug this right now and what we did is we forgot a semicolon so yeah didn't I do that in like the last tutorial so now let's go ahead and why did I say I got two errors so go ahead and build this and I probably got another one nope succeeded alright so we are good to go with this tutorial and uh yeah actually you know what I thought we were gonna hop into interface builder right now but I don't know how much time I have on my tutorial cuz uh, you know this version of Camtasia it doesn't tell you how long one of the features that people at Camtasia you should definitely add that so uh yeah I'm gonna save the interface builder for the next tutorial and uh well it's gonna be awesome that's all I can tell you guys so thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you then